Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. Today we're checking out the brand new Blackbird Deluxe from VS Audio. This is a two-in-one preamp and bias tremolo pedal with some pretty cool features on there. You can control the Fender style preamp, which has two different channels and two different era inspired circuits on there, independently of the bias tremolo. It's labeled vibrato like those old school Fender ramps, but it is a bias tremolo. You've got controls for speed and intensity on the bias trem, and then you've got tone, volume, and gain on the preamp side, as well as those aforementioned channel and error switches. This also has an effects loop, which I think is a pretty nice feature if you want to insert different pedals between the vibrato and the preamp. Vibrato, tremolo, I'm going to be using those terms independently, but it is modulating amplitude, so it's a tremolo. Nonetheless, I'm actually going to use this as a standalone preamp. I'm running it straight into the effects return of a Boogie Mark IV. The graphic EQ on the Boogie is disabled. I'm using a Marshall cab with 25 watt greenbacks and the rest of the signal chain is in the video description. Let's just hear the preamp side. All the knobs are at noon. I'm starting with this channel switch down and the error switch up. <laughs> Very sweet and clean right there. I think my personal preference with this particular guitar and the rest of the setup is having both of those switches up. I will change it over the course of the video though. A really cool feature on here is if you want more gain, you can press and hold the bypass switch on there. Let's hear that. And then I'll just go through and kind of dial this in for a little bit more grit. <laughs> where the party's at for me this is a really sweet sounding fender style preamp in there i will very quickly give you all the options on there with the channel and error switch and then we'll hear this bias tremolo <laughs> You can hear with the error switch down, it's got a little bit more of that kind of scooped character about it. With the error switch up, it's a bit fatter and there's a bit more low end. All right, let's take these settings and let's kick this bias trem in. I'm probably gonna get lost in the noodling on this one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It is an absolute swamp monster at those settings, and you could hear when I was really digging in and playing with a lot of gain and pushing the pedal hard, you didn't get as much of the pronounced tremolo effect, but when I backed off and cleaned things up, you heard it a lot more, which is what a biased tremolo should be doing, or as this pedal calls it, a vibrato. Before we swap over to humbuckers, I back the gain off a little bit, and I'm gonna kick in the Origin FX Cali 76 compressor in front of this, just so you can hear it as a kind of clean platform with compression and maybe a bit of flanger from the elastic mattress. <laughs> Let's hear it with the Les Paul next. I'll start on the neck humbucker clean and then we'll make it filthy. Let's hear it on the Les Paul now. I will start out clean on the neck humbucker and then we'll gradually just make it more and more filthy. <laughs> Thank you. 
I do need to let you hear this pedal with P90s after all that. But before I do, I want to say thank you to Panos and the VS Audio team for sending this pedal over for me to check out and demo. Please let me know what you thought of the tones in the video in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more info about this pedal or how you can support what I do here on YouTube, check the video description and I'll play you all out with this old Hamer special, some P90s, this kind of swampy, brown panel fender inspired circuit with some lovely lovely bias trem i love the way that bias trem sounds in there even though uh, like on the old amps it is labeled vibrato let me know your thoughts and i'll see you all next time cheers <laughs>